I was not a, a Ted Cruz guy till I met him. Then I met him. A, a pretty cool cat. Pretty, pretty cool very, very, cat. Very smart. Yes. And uh, sense of humor. I, I, he was he, a sense of humor about him. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, I, I think about in politics. You know, you you always hear about some politician where people who actually know him say, "Oh, he's nothing like the person you see on TV." Yeah, yeah, and then you always yeah, think, yeah, "Well, it doesn't matter, yeah, right?" Yeah, because yeah. that's the person everybody sees. That's right. He's one of those guys, yeah, though. Yeah. Yeah. Known him since 2002. Great sense of humor. Very self-deprecating. Great guy. Smart. And yeah. Hey man, Salem went down. They invited me to go down. I don't know what I was doing there, but we went down. And I think Ted Cruz was one of the few senators that actually showed up, mm -hmm. which was great, just to show respect, you know, to those. But of the us. radio was critical in his first election in he, 2012. He was aware Would, of that. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have won his primary without it. Wow, that's so that, that's so funny. Tell us about it. what do you think? Before we get the, you know, you're from Texas. Yes. You have an insight of what's happening at the border. Uh, Jason, how bad is it? See, people could they blab about it. How bad is it? You're right there, man. Tell us about it. It's bad. It. I mean, you, you look at the last full month where we have stats, right? 144,000 apprehensions. And off the top of my head, I think they estimate that maybe, maybe Border Patrol gets about a third that come across. Yeah. So do the math. Yeah. I mean, the Democrats keep saying this is a manufactured crisis. This is a full-blown legitimate crisis it's humanitarian crisis yes. because of the asylum seekers no doubt about that but it's a border security crisis it's legit it's real and, and the, the the u.s house's refusal to deal with this it's ridiculous yeah did they come up with some money just yesterday for it is not that yet right? no not, they it, it, no they haven't they're working on it uh, so the the president sent over a request to try to deal with you know the the flood of asylum seekers right the senate has passed something out of committee now the house is looking at it but think about this mm. what did aoc just say the other day that the concentration concentration camps, camps. Yeah. i don't think that was a mistake at all you know it's so easy when you hear some of the goofy stuff she says to think eh, as a slip she's a dummy no that was purposeful the leader of the democratic party aoc labeled these detention centers mm -hmm. concentration camps now how on earth mm -hmm. did the democrats then vote to improve the conditions in yeah. these detention centers when she's just labeled them concentration yeah. camps thank you for saying that jason johnson because i said it earlier the, they take the narrative they plan that narrative absolutely and you see it from the progressive socialists i don't even think we could call them democrats no. anymore they say no. democrats it's beyond democrats they plan that narrative and i bet you you're, you're right that aoc starts it they go yep. they go with it and i don't i what really bothers me you get these political animals like chuck schumer and nancy pelosi who know better they absolutely. know better absolutely Absolutely. Yet they still go with it. Chuck Schumer, who has, as recently as a decade ago, voted for border security, talked about how yeah. bad illegal yeah. immigration yeah. is, just yeah. like Barack Obama yeah. did, just like Joe Biden did. And, I mean, that's what's amazing to me, just you know, working on campaigns and being in the political you know, playing field. Is if mm. you Look how much the, they've moved the goalpost since 2006 yeah. when there was a debate, a legitimate debate yeah. about yeah. offering amnesty. Yeah. Now yeah. Yeah. they won't even— Provide funding for border security. Yeah, tell me about the children being down there. Tell, you know, and this too, you can't. You'll never convince me otherwise. This is a talking point for the Democrats as yep. well. Concentration camp. The children. The children. The children. No toothbrushes. No anything. Yep. That's a con that they make. They come up with this. How. And, and wasn't this, didn't this go on when Barack Obama was there? The exact same thing? The exact same thing. And Barack Obama requested $750 million from Congress to deal with it when they had like maybe 10% of the of the of the children yeah. on the border that we have now and yeah. congress gave it to him and i'm sure you've seen the number of times that photos have been used in social media and mainstream media talking about these horrible conditions yeah. and every time they've been photos from when barack obama was president that's great that's great but no one knows they, no won't, one they knows will it. not report it man won't do it and also will you can you do this please because you're a strategist and you now you have a company uh, j2 strategies will you do this please we you, they talk about the border, the border, the border. But my whole mission, my personal mission for the last 25 years is helping at-risk youth because yes. there before the grace of God go all of us. People are born in the United States of America in poverty, in stressed areas in America. I always thought that it was the uh, Democrats that would help out. 
they're taking the narrative and they're right they're taking it right down to the border of the children how do they forget about the children in the inner cities the 3.6 million black americans living in poverty president trump's the only president that's stepping up with his quote unquote opportunity zones right. trying to go in and rebuild the inner cities how is the press not even touching this and how can you as a strategist kind of put something on maybe online you could sure so so i do think first of all you talk about the president amazing record you have record low unemployment or record employment for african americans hispanics all across the country and just today i think vice president pence is headed down to florida to kick off latinos for trump so i think you're going to see the campaign really emphasize this in the re-election in 2020 but back to your point on the children and at risk right there i hate saying this yeah but the fact of the matter is these kids who are being trafficked by drug cartels, right? Traffic, many of them sexually it's a, it's abused. It's an industry. It's an industry. They're being used as political pawns by the Democrats. And if they really believe that it's as bad as it is, and it is bad, yeah. they would step up and do something about it. But I, I fear that they see it as as more valuable to them politically to use to beat up the president than it is to actually step up yeah. and solve the problem. Not to that's mention get, getting votes in. Absolutely. To, that, that's all they're doing. That's it. And they're abandoning. I want to say, just say it again, Jason, thank you. And if any way I can do it, because I'm talking to them blue in the face, and Mike, you'll hear Mike Gallagher after me. You'll hear Dr. Gorka yep. and Dennis Prager. We're all trying to talk about it. They're neglecting American children right. living in poverty, being attacked. We have Congressman Zeldin on talking about MS-13, which is yep. a problem right in our face, right, right here, here in this community in Long Island. And all they keep talking about is that's a narrative. It's a false narrative, and they're trying to take our eye off the ball. It's really amazing. Happening. I don't think it's a stretch to say that the, today's Democratic Party is more loyal to non-Americans who break the law than they are to... The children you're talking about right here in America or the men and women out on the street protecting you and me every or day. Or those homeless that you saw when you walked Absolutely. into the studio this morning. Jason, great job. God bless Thank you, brother. You. Godspeed Thanks, to you, too. Likewise. And uh, all our best to uh, Ted Cruz, man. I mean, you know, if, if you see him, come back anytime, all right? Appreciate and it. And listen, you smile fine. You look great. <laughs> 752, Joe on the radio. Debbie's out there.